Hey everybody, I'm going to talk to you today about Tesla Solar and Powerwalls. We ordered our system at the end of June. It took about a month and a half and it was installed in the middle of August. We needed one redesign from the original. They just had to move the power walls from the outside walls to inside the garage where I wanted them. Install was scheduled over two days. They started really early, about 7 a.m. and loaded the solar panels first and got those put into the backyard. Here you can see the back of them. There's really not too much to them. These are the Hanwha Q-Cell panels. These are 340 watts each. These cells are just a little bit smaller than the ones that Tesla currently installs. Those are 420 watt panels. Here are the uh, panels lined up on our back patio. They actually went up really quickly. They put these pucks up and within a couple hours they had the panels all up on the roof and uh, wired up ready to go. We had 36 of the 340 watt panels installed, so it's a 12.24 kilowatt array. They're all east facing, so we get the majority of our production uh, before noon. It typically tapers off, depending on the season, about you know 4 to 6 p.m. About the middle of the day, the first day, they started installing the power walls. We have two of the power wall pluses with the inverters and one of the power wall twos. Uh, they started out by putting them up on the wall and then installed the inverters afterwards. After they were finished mounting them on the wall, they then started running the conduit. I had them run it through my attic instead of going over the roof, just gave it a little bit of a cleaner look. And uh, here you can see the finished product. Uh, it's 40 and a half kilowatt hours of storage. While this was going on, the other electrician was out on the side of the house wiring up the new sub panels and gateway. Here you can see the finished product, it looks pretty clean. Uh, they basically took the old main panel and then put that down into the backup load gateway and made that like a sub-panel uh, with all the breakers in it. Uh, also what you can see here is the gateway, they call this the brains of the operation. This is your shutoff switch if there's an issue. The gateway connects through 4G and your Wi-Fi. It also broadcasts its own network so you can connect to it for diagnostics. I paid $800 extra for them to run the conduit into the attic instead of on top of the roof. I thought it was a cleaner install and it just makes it so the wiring's not exposed to the elements at all. Um, here you'll see it going into the side of the house and then it pops out on the top wall of my garage, comes right down into the solar. I thought it was really a, you know, a pretty clean install, I was very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video on the installation of our solar panel and power wall system. I'm going to try and update this monthly with production numbers. If you have any questions or uh, want to know anything, just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Have a good one.